we just got some breaking cruise news and we have to ask, what is Virgin Voyages thinking? What's going on? My name's Jared. Jordan is upstairs booking your cruise or maybe he's eating some pre-Thanksgiving dinner. I don't know. But we are JJ Cruz. Thanks so much for joining us today. There is some breaking cruise news that came out late last night, and I had to share it with you all today. And it's something that we think could be a game changer in a negative way for Virgin Voyages. Before I get into that cruise news though, please subscribe to the channel. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers, and we are so close to hitting our goal of 50K. You can be the difference for making us hit our goal and while you're there, please hit that thumbs up. We appreciate it. So what is this cruise news that we are so intrigued by and questioning the motives behind? Well, it's something that on a travel agent side, we think is very, very interesting, but we believe our clients as well as anyone else who has booked with Virgin in the past will also see as somewhat of a negative moving forward. If you're not familiar with Virgin Voyages, Virgin Voyages is the newest cruise line to the game when it comes to adults only cruises. In fact, very rarely are there cruise lines set aside for adults only. Virgin Voyages makes the difference as a mainstream cruise line with a premium service to give only adults for an entire cruise vacation. This is something that has proven to be a fan favorite for many adults. We ourselves have also been on Virgin Voyages and the cruises that Virgin have are a blast. To us, they're like going to Las Vegas for a weekend. They are that alive and just energized with a full amount of fun to be had in the most adult ways. That being said, with anyone who has gone on Virgin Voyages, they are aware that Virgin's different than a lot of other cruise lines. They have different promotions because they have tried to get in the same competitive space as these other major cruise lines. For example, Virgin is in the same space as Disney Cruise Line, Celebrity Cruises, Princess Cruises, even that of Royal Caribbean International, as well as Carnival Cruise Line. All of these are competitive, but the big thing to note here is Virgin's brand new. Virgin does not have the market share that a lot of these other cruise lines have had for years, sometimes decades. So Virgin has made its mark by having certain promotions out there that have been relied on by a lot of cruisers. One of those is the book early, save more promotion where you can get 10% off your cruise fare by booking at least 180 days in advance. This is pretty easy for most cruisers out there because they do that typically when they book their cruises. A lot of the cruise clients that we have out there book their cruises at least a year in advance, if not two, immediately once voyages are released. And so that's automatically 10% that they are saving off their cruise fare. Another one though that is very unique with Virgin is the pay in full discount. Now this pay in full discount means that you pay at deposit the entire amount. So if your cruise is $3,000, you're paying that $3,000 at time of booking and it's stackable with the other 10% off of that of the book early save more. So in essence, you could be getting 20% off of your cruise fare just by booking early and paying in full. We know that this was something Virgin was doing to get a little bit more capital in at the front end, especially with the pandemic having such a hard hit on Virgin Voyages who had released sailings just before the pandemic occurred. But we were pretty surprised when we found out today that those two promotions are gone. Yes, that is correct. They are going and do it away with both of those promotions that many people have relied on. Those promotions have been stackable with bar tab promotions or some other select promotions that are available every single month on Virgin Voyages. And we've had a lot of clients love these promotions and book and pay in full. The pay in full promotion is officially done. They send out this communication to travel agents late in the afternoon and they said literally at 1201, it's gone. So you had maybe six hours, seven hours at most to finish booking people 
if you're already in the process of booking people to get that 10% off. Of course, I wanna put this out there. Anyone that's already booked with a pay in full promotion is grandfathered in, whatever you wanna call it, you're good. If you're booked, you're good. It's just for new bookings from now on. That is no longer available. When it comes to the book early, save more promotion, that actually will not expire until December 13th. That'll be the last day you can book with that 10% off for any cruise 180 days or more. But as of December 14th, you will not be able to get that promotion any further. There's one more promotion that is going away with Virgin Voyages. And this one may be the biggest one of them all for a lot of you loyal cruisers. And one that we think is affecting Virgin probably the most out of all of them. That is the Florida resident rate discount. In the past, Florida residents got 15% off of their cruise fare with Virgin Voyages just for being a resident of Florida. We know that when it comes to Florida, it is a major hub for cruise lovers and loyalists to a lot of other cruise lines that are competitive against Virgin Voyages. That is now going away on December 13th. And on December 14th, a new percentage off will be there and that is 5%. Yes, you heard me right, 10% completely cut. So you just get 5% if you're a Florida resident off of your cruise fare, no longer the 15%. Of course, when these promotions are cut, we have our own, well, suspicions. What do these cuts and discounts really mean? What is the driver behind Virgin doing these cuts and promotions that should really only help benefit them attracting new cruisers, especially from other cruise lines out there in the huge marketplace that is so competitive today? Well, we think there are a few reasons. Jordan and I have talked about this and the first bucket of reasoning is, well, they need more money. They can't really live with having these discounts out there any longer. And this is an easy way to get a little bit more profits in their pocketbooks because they don't think it's really a differentiator enough to where people will not book because these promotions are gone. Then there's option B, which is they think they're fine. They've got enough market share from these other cruise lines and they don't really need to compete the same way that they did when they first entered this competitive market that is the cruise industry. And then there's option C. And option C is more of, well, they kind of need both. They need more money, but they also feel like they're in a better spot and they don't really need to attract new cruisers because those that were already interested in trying them have done so already. And this is a way for them to make more money off of the current clients that are already gonna book with Virgin Voyages. And they don't think it's really gonna attract much new audience, even though they need some new audience. So it's a mixture of both. Our opinion on this is that it probably is a little bit of everything and even more than we could ever know. But our thoughts are more so on how this will really affect current cruisers out there. Loyalty is number one in the cruise industry and it's probably one of the most important parts of why cruise lines are successful. This seems to be one of those things that is only gonna show that Virgin isn't necessarily as loyal to its current clients than keeping this promotion active. We know if you need to make money and if there is a way to make cuts, businesses have to make cuts, but this does rub us in the way that, well, we're curious. Is this gonna go over well with current Virgin Voyage cruisers? Is this gonna be something that really plays a part in people booking in 2024 and beyond? Let us know your thoughts. We still don't know what Virgin Voyages is really thinking and what is driving this change, but we do think it's an important change because it's something that saves people up to 20% or 15% for Florida residents. And that can be a really big difference in price point for a lot of cruisers. Let us know your thoughts below in the comments. We love to hear from you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up. And until next time, see ya.